Hey everyone, it's Lauren and Celine, your UIC interns working with VeggieRx this semester. Um, today we're going to be showing you the cauliflower fritters, which is this week's uh, recipe going along with our VeggieRx pack. So, um, hope you guys enjoy it. For this recipe, you will need one large head of cauliflower, one half cup of flour of choice, two eggs, two garlic cloves, three tablespoons of minced scallions, but we're gonna be using red onions today, which are in your this week's box, as well as some olive oil for cooking. Um, you'll also need like a large mixing bowl, a knife to cut the flour, cauliflower, um, some tablespoons, and then a half cup measuring cup. So an easy way to um, stabilize your cutting board is by placing some damp paper towels at your workstation. And this way, um, your cutting board won't be slipping around as you chop up your vegetables. <laughs> so the first thing you're going to want to do is, after you wash your cauliflower, is you're going to remove the stem um, with a large knife. And then you're going to roughly chop it into some large florets. To remove the stem, I'm just going to roughly chop these. Um, you can even probably just pull it apart. Um, it doesn't really matter right now the size because we're going to boil them. Okay, so you're going to want to boil your cauliflower florets for about three to five minutes or until you can easily cook them with a knife or a fork. Cauliflower is done and we've drained it. We're just going to pour it out onto our cutting board. Careful because they're going to be a little hot. And then basically, we want to chop these up pretty finely into like pea size or smaller than pea size. So I'm just going to do like a rough chop. And then you want to mince some onions um, or scallions, but today again, we're using red onions. mixing bowl we're going to add our scallions or we're using onions and our garlic to a bowl and then we're going to add our chopped up cauliflower to the bowl. Next we're just going to add our eggs. And a half cup of flour to the mixture and mix everything together. Everything looks like mixed together and then you can kind of add your own seasoning. The recipe just kind of calls for like salt and pepper. Um, but we thought we were going to add some paprika and chili powder to our mix too. So I'm just going to add that in and mix it up. And then we're going to take it over to the stove. So I've got some oil heating in this pan here. And then we're going to take uh, a couple tablespoons of the mixture and just throw it on the pan. And we're gonna use our spatula to kind of flatten it out um, into a little fritter. So we're keep it, we'll keep it on the heat for about um, two to three minutes and then flip it to the other side. And there you have it. Here are our finished cauliflower fritters. <laughs>